Access granted. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we're going to be doing a player analysis. The player is Sparkly Pants. Uh, they are SEM and a Sniper. So on Pistol Round, they bought an R8. And that right there is something I think is high risk. I don't see the R8 as a very good pistol, even though they have lowered the price point so that you can buy it on the Pistol Round. It just doesn't seem like it's worth buying. I think the Deagle is far better. That delay is going to make it almost impossible to connect with someone unless they're just standing out in the open for a while. And even there, he wasn't able to connect. That was his teammate doing the damage. And you can see he went down without doing any damage with that R8. So yeah, uh, first note is probably not to use the R8 on pistol. So we got our first of possibly two save rounds here. And he's got a P2000 and no armor. Fully saving, which is good. That means he'll have more cash for next round. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but also, it means that since he doesn't have body armor, if he gets tagged, any shots he does are going to be inaccurate. So it's really just kind of a throwaway round unless his teammates were able to do something incredible here. So here we go. Taking some shots. Actually, I'm surprised he didn't go down there. But he's going to re-peek, see if he can connect with anything. Still got 31 health. I mean, his teammate are actually able to take down one more person. And there he goes. Now, as we can see, this is a little bit of a weird round. He did go and buy that CZ and full armor, which is quite a bit of money. Uh, and his teammate actually bought a FAMAS, but the other three are saving. So I think that his teammate just kind of misbought. But still, I don't think Sparkly Pants should have gone with this. I mean, it's third round. He's going to need the money next round. So I think this was just high risk. And I think that if you're going to buy up, you should at least buy up pistol on the second round then do the full save on the third round, reverse to what you currently did here. Anyways, there is this one guy in middle, you're gonna be flanking him. Should know he's over to the right. If your teammate spotted him out, you're able to, well, your teammate actually took him out, but you had the flank there. You're gonna pick up that AK, you're gonna make your way over here towards A. You guys found yourselves in a 3v2, but now a 2v2. One guy on balcony, you're gonna take a couple shots towards him. I think you spotted the other guy. You're able to take down the other guy that was over by try box. You get naded down to 17, and your teammate's able to wall that last guy right through the box. Now, because you guys were able to win that last round, you got plenty of money for nades and smokes and everything. Uh, if you hadn't, you probably would have a little bit of a money issue, honestly. I mean, we can see your money here. And uh, having to buy that M4 would have definitely brought down your finances, especially with a pistol. Either way, your teammate is able to take down a couple of them, leaving you guys in a 4v2. But this is also leaving the B site open, and you know this. You're going to rotate over here and watch B halls in case anyone decides to redirect back over here. Good play, actually. Nothing wrong with this. You're not entirely sure where they're at, so you're checking behind you, and hopefully you just decide to hold this, but I can see you trying to push through and making sure they're not in kitchen. Teammates pushed up middle, so you got most of that secure. If you do push out, you'll be able to pinch this guy. I think you hear the footsteps. Teammates spotting him out. And you're able to take him down. That was a good round. Looks like you're sniping in mid here. Uh, they are taking the B site, so you're going to need to rotate over. You're peeking this little window area in case you spot anyone. You did spot one. It's a very hard shot unless they decide to just peek and hold that spot because I mean, it's a small gap. They can get across it pretty quick. Or you're going to have to retake this with your teammate. Looks like you're letting him take the point. I'm going to throw a smoke. Your teammate smokes off the window so you can't see through it. And then goes down to uh, the high-end market. And yeah, of course he peeks out again and takes you down. Looks like you're pushing middle aggressively with an ump. You don't know there's a guy here, but you just spotted him out. You took a shot at you, you pulled that ump out, but it's too late. Looks like they've taken the A site, and you're up, actually up here posted on mid, just watching in case anyone comes towards mid. That being said, it should have been called by your teammates, but at this level, I do know that sometimes calls can be pretty random from people. Sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't. 
able to take out that guy and CT spawn, leaving you guys in a 2v1. Looks like you're trying to position yourself so you can get that trade when he pushes up. Now you do have that CZ that you ended up buying, by the way. You seem to like that CZ armor setup on save rounds, which I think is a very expensive uh, round. Though you were able to pull this one off, I do think that you might want to go with just body armor, try to save a little bit of extra cash, but you were able to pick up that AWP in mid, so this round you had won it and it paid off. Looks like there's a fast B take and you're actually over here with them. Someone else took mid for you, so you're just watching catwalk, you hear some shots going on, you're going to turn around, you're able to spot one guy out, and some shots towards his back, nice kill on him. Now you guys have bomb down, and your teammate should be able to spot off the bomb right now. You know there's a guy with an AWP inside halls, so I'm not sure that you should really be trying to peek it, but now he's kind of got... I uh, the guess going. So... Alright, so it looks like you're just kind of holding this position. You guys have bomb uh, down. Your teammate actually cleared down lower, and that last... Terrorist is just running away. Looks like you're holding catwalk from like, well, I wouldn't say this is a great angle. This is sort of a very aggressive, out of place angle. If someone were to peek you, didn't have much of a fallback there, but looks like you're going to be pushing through here. You know, guys going into window room, you're going to be flanking them. Should be able to pick up kill here if you get the timing right, but it looks like he already went through and he actually is making his way towards market. Now there are two guys in connector here. I think your teammate just spotted one of them out. Teammate was able to take him down. Other guy in connector takes him out. And that leaves one guy left. And you had originally heard this guy go through the vent. So you should be able to tell your teammates he's either in your spawn, which you shouldn't have to worry about because your teammates should know at this point. And you heard footsteps. Nice flick. Good, good kill there. All right, it looks like they're going to be taking B fast. It looks like you're actually playing B again this round. Smoke goes up, which is good because they're going to have to push through it. One guy pushes. Again, that Negev is ridiculous because once that thing's going, anyone that peeks out is going to get tagged quite hard, at least slow down if not die. Uh, and in that situation, as I was trying to talk about earlier, um, if you don't have a smoke down and he's just spamming a spot like this, if someone peeks out, there's a good chance you're just going to go down to his Negev anyways. So imagine there being like a wall right there so you can just kind of peek out feel free to move around behind him and not have to be shot because that negev should take out anyone that tries to peek out with that accurate spray and how fast the bullets are coming out looks like another rush here and you're actually caught off guard but able to recover and take down one uh, make that two now your teammate was not up uh, able to be up there cross firing it and does have negev again it's one of those guns where you just have to hold the angle and in your case, I understand that you were trying to get there. They had gotten, had a good spawn. You didn't have that good of a spawn, and they just got there before you. And that was really the only thing that went wrong right there. Uh, in the future, a way to correct that is to make sure you throw flashes into the halls or a uh, Molotov incendiary grenade, one of those, to prevent them from pushing through. Looks like they're going to be taking A here. You spotted out two guys in Palace, able to take one out. The other one comes into sight. The teammate kind of got wrecked by him. So you're kind of the last guy here at A. Uh, teammates are rotating over through mid. Bomb is down now in A site. And you got control of it. You know, the last terrorist is back of mid. He's able to take down one of your teammates, but the aggressive play is able to take him down. In the higher levels, in rounds like the last one, where the guy, where you get the bomb down and the last guy is middle, you're going to want to be able to play off your teammates and try to push back into a more passive position so you guys can have a crossfire on the bomb to guarantee the round. Now, I know at this level, uh, teammates are a lot more unpredictable, more aggressive, and they're not really thinking through every action that they make. So it still wouldn't have been a bad idea for you to go back towards maybe ticket booth or window room and just kind of held the bomb from an off angle there. By the way, you have spotted two guys coming out here. You're going to push through the smoke and take out one guy in sight. You know that there's probably another guy on balcony. One guy is in sight planning. Nice spam shot through the box. Spot him out going over towards CT spawn. Teammate should be able to catch him as long as you called it for him. He's low as hell. And your teammate does get him. But you end up getting flanked here from connector. You did hear footsteps. 
but I have a feeling you probably thought that your teammate would have rotated a different way so that that would have been a little more covered. That being said, really the only thing you can do is pay attention to that mini-map, but when you're in a bunch of action, I can understand you being a little more focused towards the action in front of you and the people peeking towards you. It's the last round of the first half, you're playing an aggressive cat, pushing your way into mid. Looks like your teammate has that underpass, you don't have to worry about that. So really just have that left mid to worry about. Your te other teammates at A have called out and spotted them taking the A site. So you rotate it over here, checking from connector. Flash comes out and you go down. Wasn't much to that. I mean, honestly, you had a pretty decent position. That flashbang hit you and he hit a nice shot. All I can say is try to play closer to walls so you can hide if a flashbang comes or play farther down on the steps so that if flashbang does pop like that, you can duck and they can't see your head. Looks like you're going to be going with that R8 again. It's going to be that guy in the window. You take a shot at him. Not quite able to connect with him. Again, I think this gun is terrible. I think that you'd be way better off with a Deagle. It does a high amount of damage. You can kill someone with two shots with a Deagle on, you know, pistol round if they don't have body armor. And... It just, it feels like it's a better buy. It feels like the R8 is just too difficult to use with that waiting time. And, well, as you've seen, it's really hard to grab a kill unless you get that headshot with it and premeditate the shot. You're able to spot out one guy in the middle with a scout on the next round and tag him. It's going to make him play passively and you're still holding the window just in case he decides to peek out. Looks like he's going to start rotating over towards B. Your teammates actually have already taken the B site. So now it's just... Your job is to try to get up here on catwalk. Looks like you're spotting over here towards window. And one more guy actually came up catwalk. I'm assuming that you probably thought that you didn't have to worry about that because of your teammate. But in my honest opinion, you should have made your way up catwalk and held from uh, more towards the B site instead of trying to play up here in this window room kind of making it so that you can get blank like that. Dive pushing here on A ramp. You're aggressive with a scout and you got the CZ to back you up. You're able to take one down with that CZ, you're gonna pull the taser. Um, honestly, just a high risk play. Expensive round actually just because you did have that CZ in full armor and the scout having just died with the scout the round before. But as long as your team wins this, you should be okay for next round. Well, I was wrong. Even with your team winning that round, uh, you were still pretty low in money. But you got to go low. You got full armor. You're going to be able to do something here. You got a taser as well. So it looks like you're just going to push out aggressively. One guy over towards ticket booth and CT spawn. You did hear him fire, so you know he's there. Another guy over towards stairs. So you're spamming over towards it. Looks like you're going to push here, push the smoke. You spam towards the stairs and do spot out a guy in jungle. High risk play. I can understand the theory behind it, but with that smoke up, you don't have much cover from anyone else. Uh, because of those stairs, that's also blocking people off from helping you get into that trade kill. And once you committed to that, if there were people in that area of jungle or even in connector, uh, multiple people shooting at you, best case scenario, you're probably only going to get one before you go down. Now, I don't like where you're holding from right here. You got that scout, that's fine, but you should be holding closer to a wall so that instead of out in the middle of nowhere, because if you're holding from out in the most open area, it's going to take you longer to fall behind the wall if you do miss the shot, or even if you hit the shot. Since you are using the scout, you're going to have to hit two shots, right? So even if you hit the shot and you were holding that hallway out in the open, you're probably still going to get traded before you can even finish him off. That being said, nice shot on the guy going towards window room. You're peeking out. You're able to pick this guy and CT spawn. Gets him down to 40 health. And now you're just going to be holding this angle in case he tries to re-peek. This is good. Bomb is down though. You either need to tell your teammate to go get it or you're going to have to go get it. Looks like you're going to be pushing towards CT spawn. Okay. Miss that shot. You're going to be chasing him down with this Glock and you end up going down. Now honestly, while it didn't turn out into a bad round, I mean, this guy is actually kind of wrecking the other team as well. Uh, you guys did get bombed down. Buying that scout on this round especially after just losing that last one is going to make it so you don't have much money. The extra money from the bomb is good. That's going to help a little bit. But still, you're probably going to have to save this next round. And look at that. 2.8. I mean, 
Unless you go with like a scout and armor, I'm not really sure what you're gonna buy this round. There's the scout, there's the armor. All right. So you got your scout and your armor and you're trying to pick B hulls here. One guy over to the left, you're spotting him out. Ah, trying to shoot him through that wall, it's just not tagging him for any damage, but I think those shots are on. Guy's still over there to the left. <laughs> you're creeping up here. I really think that going with the scout over and over again isn't the greatest of ideas. Unless like, uh, you know, if you're really trying to win this, I just think that you might want to save up for a real gun, manage your money a little bit better, and, you know, use the scouts here and there, maybe on like the, you know, second or third rounds. But once you actually need to have an economy to try to win rounds, probably best to stay away from going scout full armor. But here you're able to get an AWP off of it. Again, this is more because your teammate was able to get that kill for you. And it looks like you probably will win this round. Looks like you guys are taking middle. Watching that window for your teammates. Watching the left side at least. Teammates kind of stand in your way. Not a bad angle to hold. I'd hold a little bit away from the wall though, just because the game does have like a random cone of accuracy. Uh, doesn't matter if you're using a sniper rifle or a regular rifle, all of them in this game tend to have a little bit of a uh, accuracy cone. So even if you're off that wall by one pixel, if you're standing, there's a good chance it'll be off by a couple pixels and you'll hit him through that wall not getting the kill when you could have easily gotten it if you just pulled away a little bit farther. Now you're watching Catwalk in case the guy pushes. Teammates are redirecting over towards A. And both of the CTs are actually over at B, so this is a really good read. And you know they're making their way towards the site, and you're going to be coming a little bit late towards site. Hopefully they're planning for you so you can peek it from connectors. You don't have to worry too much about the timing here. They actually planted behind the box. And because you're trying to push in to find a nice position, and you're coming in so late, you're just kind of pushing with that pistol. You probably are going to be best off just holding from that connector or holding from, you know, in the middle, just trying to make sure that uh, that no one's going to come from that direction until your teammates die. But they should have also planted for you, in all honesty. Looks like you're making your way back towards the middle. You do peek it. You were able to spot off the left side of it. Now you're kind of just up here holding it. It's not bad. Good position. I like how you're let out a little bit farther away from the wall this time in case the guy peeks out. If he does do just a little tiny jiggle peek, we can only see like a pixel of him. I mean, the odds of you hitting that are pretty low just because of how fast the movement is and the odds of it being a kill hit because of how the game is in itself and made and how random, you know, bullets accuracies are. Uh, it, just, it just feels like it's a much higher percentage shot if you make sure to lead out a little bit and make sure he has to commit to the peek. One guy in CT spawn, and there are three CTs left, so you're kind of holding this angle. I mean, this is actually not a good position. I do it all the time. A lot of top players will do it, but honestly, you have kind of a disadvantage here. Your teammate is holding the connector. Oh, he's pushed up. Uh, good smoke. That actually makes this position a lot more your sided. But before, he can over peek it, and you kind of just have that one thing with no fallback, so if you do miss that shot, he would have just been able to take you right out at those stairs and there was no place you could run to. And good kill on that final guy. Now this is the last round and it looks like you're working up middle. Your teammate was able to get a pick earlier. You really haven't spotted anyone out yet. You had to go around that smoke, making your way up towards connector. Looks like the bomb is coming with you towards A. Kind of just holding catwalk, which isn't a bad idea because a lot of people will flank that cat, especially if they know that you have control of mid and connector. So here's that guy coming, and you're holding the angle, so this should work out perfectly for you. Good kill. Now you're going to reposition back over here towards site. Now a lot of people like to hold from these stairs like we were talking about earlier, and this A ramp, but I honestly think the best place to hold from, now it would be a little bit late, you would have had to go pretty quick to do it, is up on the balcony. But it looks like you're actually playing in the middle of site. Don't like where you're actually at because you're going to be seen from so many angles. Kind of just push that guy. Another guy's gonna come from jungle, you got a three on one. And, well, your teammate goes down to him. But at least you know his current location. 
So there's only really three places he can come from. He's gonna push right through the smoke. You take a shot. Bomb's gonna go off regardless at this point. Round is one. So that was a good game. All right, so let's go over the uh, biggest concerns and things I think that you should work on. One of which is uh, make sure you buy, you know, best possible weapon for the scenario. As like pistol round, I don't think that that would have been the case. Um, the CZ, it's a nice pistol, but if you're gonna do it, uh, it is a save round. You wanna make sure that you can buy the next round. Don't overspend money. Go maybe CZ body armor. Don't go uh, CZ full head armor and taser. Try to manage it a little bit better. I honestly probably would say, for the most part, you can probably just go CZ uh, with no armor and hope for the best if you're going to go with CZs because they are kind of an expensive pistol in a sense. That being said, the R8 on pistol round is almost worthless. I mean, you're better off either going with a, a Deagle if you're going to go high risk or I would say, you know, if you're CT, USP because you can just one tap heads anyways for the most part. And Glock is actually not that bad. Two tapping heads at distance isn't a bad thing. Uh, two to three taps in the worst case scenario. <laughs> Either way, uh, I really think that really any pistol other than the R8 would suit you better. Um, as for the scouts, I understand that you're a sniper and you feel at home with any kind of scoped weapon like that. Uh, I can understand using a scout, but you don't need to have the body armor with the scout. It's If you're going to be buying it just uh, anyways, like I would suggest you probably don't buy it if you don't have the money to afford the next round, unless you know for a fact you're going to have a double save with your team. And you're like, well, I can afford a scout right now, but I'm going to have to double save anyways after this uh, because my teammates are broke. Or even in this case where they're fully buying because they have money and you're the only one that's broke, it would be okay for you to buy a scout in that situation. But I felt that you had a situation where you weren't going to have enough money the next round and your team was, and buying the scout in armor was really high risk even though you were able to win the round due to your teammate getting uh, a couple picks over at A and your other teammate getting the pick over by bench and you being able to get that. A lot of the rounds actually came down to where your teammates were just kind of getting some kills here and there and even though they were round you probably shouldn't have statistically won, you guys ended up winning them. Another thing you need to worry about is your positioning. You kept positioning yourself out in the open with no fallback, just out in the middle of the hallway or uh, you know, it's very important to play up against walls. Make sure that if you sh miss a shot, you can hide behind a wall because that's really your only protection. It's probably the best protection in the game when you think about it. I mean, you can, there's other little things like dodging techniques and, you know, throwing flashbangs at people that can also be a, a bit of help in those kind of situations. But if you really want to guarantee that you're not going to get killed immediately if you miss a shot or if you tag someone and it doesn't it isn't a fatal shot then you want to make sure you're playing up against walls in situations where you only can be seen from one angle uh, another example is when you were up on catwalk and your teammate had fallen back instead of you going up there and trying to push that window and just kind of holding up there with a scout you don't have a rifle first of all so i mean you don't really have the good recovery time of a rifle where if you're like holding one angle and a guy comes up behind you you can't really turn around and just kind of shoot him and guarantee that kill I mean, even a rifle can't guarantee that kill in that situation. But really, you should be playing up a little bit farther towards B, uh, watching towards cap. Meanwhile, your teammates all had market taken care of, B halls taken care of, and you also have a pivot spot. So you can kind of just sit there behind the pillar, watching that little corner. If anyone comes from cat, if you see him, you tag him, you call it to your teammate, hide behind the pillar, and you guys can all attack him together and finish him off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, Try to be a little bit more detailed with this player analysis. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I hope you guys have a great day.